Hello everyone, I'm Antonio Neal. Hope you're doing well. Been on here trying to make it, trying to produce videos and music to connect with people around the world. And there's one thing that I realized these 15 years or so that I've been on here, that I really haven't shared my life, my real self. Just been trying to do the music business and uh, it really hasn't it really hasn't done well for me because I don't think I've been authentic. I don't think I've shown myself. It's just been about the music and the art. And I'm finally at a place now, especially since recently turning 50, that I just kind of want to share who I really am, my story. I don't want to hide anymore. You know, 50 years old has really been a big deal for me to make it to 50 because I was told that I probably wouldn't get here. Over three years ago, you know, just I had loss after loss after loss after loss. My mom died, major issues with my marriage. Not long after that, my best friend died of cancer. And recently, another close friend, he got diagnosed with cancer. So I'm sitting up looking at life in so many ways. I walked away from music. I was hitting the gym real hard. Just so many things come into my life to try to distract me or try to hold me down or try to bring me into a depressive state. So I decided that I'm going to start shooting videos to just share my process. You know, how I'm getting through things. You know, I'm back in the studio again those questions in my head why am I here does it even matter will anybody even listen you know, all those things look at my age you know you know does it matter going to the gym anymore does it matter staying in shape you know all those questions you know am I still valuable things that men think about we may not share but we think about it you know, I, mo I moved from, from Texas to Arizona to try to get a fresh start. Moved out here and got a, a cleaning business. Clean, you know, homes, Airbnbs, businesses. And I'm just learning a lot. And for a long time, I wouldn't, I, I didn't want to share what I was doing because some people know me in the music business. And how can this guy who used to be in the music business, Grammy nominated, songwriter, producer, He's cleaning houses and he has a business. And I wouldn't share that part of me, but I don't care anymore. Even though I can't share, you know, other people that work with me, I can't share, you know, show their faces. I'm gonna kind of show you who I am and I don't have to jump through no hoops, y'all. I don't have to make videos and try to look like I'm cool, like I'm Mr. Beast or like I'm some other person that I'm not. I just want to share what it's like to live in my shoes and how to pick yourself up after having knockdown after knockdown after knockdown. I don't even know the meaning of this. Am I trying to sell music? Nope. Will I talk about my process? Yep. I'll bring you guys in the studio. I'll show some of the things that I'm doing. But I just want to be able to hopefully, I don't know just talk just share my story i don't have any expectations it's just this is gonna be like my therapy right i can just share you know i'm ready to get back into the gym full time i'm ready to get back into my music full time i, I miss traveling i miss seeing people's faces when they hear songs that they that they like songs that connect with them I'm also thinking about taking up golf. So I just want to do videos and bring you guys along. Nothing fancy at all. So today I have to go to a house and uh, don't know what to expect. I'll show you guys as much as I can. Um, normally what I take care of when it comes to my business is the floors and 
the backyard and the laundry. And from time to time, I'll take you guys with me, show you what's going on. And hopefully you guys will take this journey with me. You know, I don't, this channel isn't about just one thing. It's just about me. And um, hopefully some of you guys stick along for the ride. See you next time. Well, not next time. I see you at the house. All right, that's better. So one of the first things that we do when we get to a house, we inspect it, uh, we check it out. We normally strip the beds, get the laundry started. But in this house today, they already stripped the bed. So get the laundry started and then I'm gonna check the backyard. So they already stripped the bed. Put everything on the floor. Gotta go through here. Gravel everything. Same thing for this room. They put the blankets, everything together, the comforters. Everything is cool. I see a little issue back here. I need the trash cans. Where are they? 
trash is wet, and soggy. You know, I never thought I would be doing this type of work, you know, uh, this part of my life. I'm thankful for the work. I'm thankful for the provision. I'm thankful for the opportunities. But, you know, coming from the music business and what I was doing, I would have thought my life would have turned out to be totally different. With the things that I've been going through the last three or four years, so much death, so much loss, I realized that this has really been like a sanctuary for me and really probably the best thing that could have happened to me coming out here and serving other people, but also get an opportunity to have surgery produced for me on the inside. Because when you go through a lot of hurt and pain, you really have to go inside, inward. Uh, my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and also people that I've been surrounded by really have helped me go on the inside and work on myself, work on the anger, work on, um, some of the inconsistencies of my own personal life because one of the greatest lessons that I've learned in my life has been that I'm the reason that I'm in this situation, whether it's good or bad. I don't blame anybody. I just simply have decided to accept everything. It's my responsibility or some people can say it's my fault. And that has really given me a lot of freedom in my life to say, you know what, this is my situation. If I don't want to be in this, then it's up to me. And a lot of times when I'm, I'm, I'm on the job, or even though this is my own business, when I'm out here, I'm thinking about my music. I'm thinking about, you know, um, going back into the studio. It causes me to appreciate my music and my musical journey even more. You know, I'm almost done with this project. 
And so being out here and doing real work, right? Uh, doing work that, um, you know, there's no fanfare out here. There's nobody out here, you know, uh, sending a cash app. There's nobody out here going to iTunes or Apple Music or Spotify and looking me up. This is really just me out here doing my thing. It has really given me an opportunity to go inside, to be introspective about my own personal life and to see where it, um, see where there's things that need to be torn down, which there are a lot of things that needed to be and need to be torn down, but also see the things that need to be built up and see the things that need to be strengthened that are already there. And also I've been learning as a man not to be so hard on myself. Everywhere, you know, we go, there's people judging us and there's people saying, you know, we're narcissistic and people saying we're too strong. And I realized that I, I'm not accepting none of that. I am <laughs> I am strong because this is how my creator made me to be. And I'm speaking of spiritual strength. I'm not speaking of, you know, out here uh, physical strength. And that's cool. But I'm talking about the spiritual strength. Um, and so I'm just letting myself go through this process. I don't really have, you know, much but today and to think about right now where I am right now. And so again, when I'm out here working, taking care of people's property, I think about the music and it causes me to appreciate it even more, it causes me to appreciate that opportunity. Um, there are people that are behind me that are investing in me and uh, that are investing in my quote unquote, my comeback. And I'm just excited. I don't know how much longer I'll be, you know, in this business, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning to appreciate every moment because whatever happens next, you know, I know there'll be days when I look back and I remember, I remember this time as a good time. I remember this time as a time of healing, um, a time that I can memorialize and say, hey, that was where I was able to stand back up. And as men, sometimes we get beat down so much in life and Man, sometimes you look, you're just looking around and where can I find safety and solace and where can I find a place of celebration and appreciation? And I'm finding that I, I found that and am finding that number one in Christ, but number two inside in myself. I'm learning to celebrate myself. I'm learning to appreciate myself. I'm learning to clap for myself. I'm learning to um, look at myself in the mirror and say, good job, man. So that's what it's all about to me, taking it a day at a time serving people, and also serving yourself. Oh yeah, and I failed to mention earlier that I hope to be able to go to the gym today. I don't know if I can get away. Honestly, I don't feel like going to the gym physically, but I haven't been in the gym as much as I needed to be recently. So I'm having to uh, try to bring this strength up from somewhere. So if I go to the gym, I'll bring you guys along, okay? Hopefully.
What's up, y'all? Uh, sorry for not ending the video the way I wanted to. Uh, the job got super busy. As y'all can tell, nighttime hit, and uh, I thought about it. I said, man, I didn't finish the video. Um, just want to say thanks for watching the video today. Thanks for allowing me to come into your life and just have a conversation. I don't know where this is going, but I'm glad you're going to hang out with me. So, till next time, take care of yourself. We'll see you soon.